Hi everyone, today I'm in the studio and we're going to do some fast set inking and we're going to talk about the land of fast and we're going to talk about how I do my hairstyling because I've been getting a few requests um, from people asking me how I do my hairstyling so I decided to make this video and using one of my fast sets and I have several different fast sets in the land of fast and the land of fast was created by me, the artist Faz, which is the, my artist name and um, you're going to have the fast sets that have a younger look to them. I have this fast set that has more of a teenage look. And then I have the older ones that, you know, I usually do those in. They have more of like a fine art look, realistic, realism. And I also do the d dynamic hair. But my artwork wasn't, my the Land of Faz wasn't created for a reason. Like, you know, The Simpsons is just a TV show. You know, you have, you know, um... Well, I know a lot of like the Spider-Man and, and X-Men and all that stuff. That was created for a reason. That was created um, during the time of war in the, you know, the 1920s and 40s and 50s. Stan Lee, you know, trying to have, you know, America be at its, um, at its strongest. So he created the characters like Captain America and stuff like that, you know. To give you know hope to the American people through comics, so I'm not necessarily saying that like I, I a lot of my influence of my work like the idea of the Nana Fast came from Alice in Wonderland. I just like how it didn't make sense, and you could say Alice in Wonderland had a message, right? But my work doesn't necessarily have a message, but my characters have their own personalities, right? Like the Land of Fast, right? The 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 females, the older versions that have um. The realistic look that to me is me showing in, in, in art what to me is the divine feminine right is intuition is faith it's um guidance unconditional love that's what they stand for in the land of fast right and here you can see me doing my line work using the sharpie and the reason i like using the sharpie is because i can fade the lines out and it has like that nice, you know, fade out look in between. And, and I just freestyle these lines, guys. Um, I, I do some like light sketching. But a lot of these lines, when it comes to what I'm doing here, it just freestyle. And the reason why I do it like this is because that's how that's what I believe is right. You know, there's no right and wrongs when creating your art. But when I was creating my art, I wanted something that can stand out and that only I can reproduce. Because I can show you how to do these line work. But, um... After after time, you know, it's like, hey, what about a different angle? You know, like this is something that I just do. It's just, it just flows. It's just freestyle, right? This is something that I just do from within. You know, if I don't like like that, I didn't like that line right there, so I corrected it and I did this, right? That line wasn't supposed to look like that. And then it ended up looking like this, so it looked good. And that's just how I paint, you know, and that's how, just how I draw. I just freestyle. The same way I was able to come with my characters, you know, I did graffiti. I wanted my, you know, my graffiti bubble lettering to stand out. So I turned those, that lettering into characters. And then after a while, my man, these characters are cool, but I want to turn them into full-blown characters, which, which is what I did. And then each of those characters had their own personality. You know, as you can see, like my F letter, I turned into a rhino. And then my F letter, I turned into a giraffe. And then I have my A letter that I turn into a shark. And then I also turn my F um, letter into a shark, but they look completely different, you know. And to me, it makes me happy, you know. That's why I do it, right? And the land of fast, you know, is is a place that brings joy and happiness to me. Because when I'm creating, if I'm having a bad day or things ain't going right, I could just sit down, draw, and create in the land of fast. And it puts me in, you know in happy movement you know i have no anxiety i have stillness of the mind no thoughts you know no, nothing you know i'm not i'm not gonna be doing these sketches and then be in a bad mood you know so it puts me in a good mood so it was created out of happiness right and um like i said there isn't a mess in Atlanta fab fast but my characters they all have their own personalities that they do portray you know uh a symbol of happiness so that could be a message, but it doesn't have to be a message, right? It's just what they are. So when I draw my female characters, there's a reason for that, right? There's something going on when I draw the female characters. There's something going on when I'm drawing the male characters. And, you know, they're, they're a symbol of what happiness should be. And that's what they're created out of, 
right? The idea that, hey, <laughs> this is putting me in a happy moment and this character is making me happy. So what does he mean, right? And I'm not going to tell people what my characters mean or what the land of fast, you know, um, creates within itself. That's for you to, you know, to just enjoy and, you know, imagine, you know, the land of fast was created out of imagination, right? Alice in Wonderland, right? What you can say was created out of imagination. Was she imagining that? No one else could see it. Right? It was only real to her, right? Or was it a real place? It's just that everyone wasn't a, wasn't able to see it because they don't believe, right? That's what it is. Happiness is a belief, guys. Um, if you believe you're happy, you'll be happy. If you believe you're sad, you'll be sad, right? And not that that's the message in the land of fast. But my characters are, were created from happiness. Right. That's what it just comes down to. So if you're seeing a piece of my artwork, um, there isn't no message in there, but you'll look at it and say, hey, man, like, what does that mean? This might mean something. And if it makes you happy, then, yeah, then that's the message. Right. But at the same time, it's not. So and you could say, well, that's a half truth where our whole our whole world is filled off a of half truth, guys. But um, the land of fast was created on the truth of pure happiness and the characters in the land of fast um are there because they're just trying to bring joy within each other and um land of fast is a real place i, I i'm gonna i'm working on a video guys that it brings I'm trying to look for an actor, a female actor that has purple hair, so I can do like a small short video, and then I can do like the edit and animation of the land of fast and reality. Um, but it's gonna take me some time, but I'm working on that. But I have tons of art. That's the reason I created my art channel on YouTube was because I wanted to share the land of fast with people because I have friends and family come over, and I did the art shows in the past, and I was bringing that land of fast to work. I mean. Um, to life through my work, but the problem was that you know sending stuff to art galleries and and at times getting things back damaged, and then um you know shipping large paintings. I like I like to do large paintings, you know usually four foot by eight foot or five foot by five foot, and then you know with the cost of shipping and and, and a lot of people wanted to buy my work overseas, it became dig um difficult. So I started to create digital work and just most and then just share my work. Um, through video and you know um, offer prints because I don't like to sell my original work because I put a lot of time and effort into them but if I do create an original piece of work um, I, I would only do that on a commission base so you would have to contact me and say hey um, are, um, are you available for commission I want a piece of your artwork and then we can sit down and we can talk about what you would like me to create for you that comes from the land of fast. But I normally don't just sit down and do a canvas to sell. That's not how I do my work. Um, so if you're interested in something and you're willing to work with me, shoot me a message and I can create something with you. Something that's just for you that no one else is going to have. You know, something unique and that won't be reproduced, but it will be... Um, with my technique and my style, as I said... I feel like when I was creating the land of fast, I wanted to have my trademark look in the work. And every piece always has my same kind of look and flow that when people see it, they automatically can say, hey, fast did that. Right. That's his line work. That's his characters. And this is part one, because part two, um, I'm, I'm going to be doing like the light body because this character, you know, the character in the land of fast, they their bodies are light bodies. There is no anatomy to them. So I usually do like, you know, the tan, but then it becomes light body where, you know, they, the bodies are translucent in different colors and shades. And, um, so yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Um, put my intro as the outro, just cause, because when I'm, when they, when the video starts, I want people to be available to, to watch what's going on and not see my trailer that you know usually 20 seconds but i always change the trailer because i always have different work so when you stick to the end of the video now i'm gonna have it as my outro and you'll see all my newest work and i try to put them in you know little pieces of work that i'm doing so you guys um can get a better awareness of it and then go check out my other videos thanks for watching guys be sure to like comment share and subscribe